Excipient, Wikipedia Audio An excipient is a substance formulated alongside the active ingredient of a medication, included for the purpose of long-term stabilization, bulking up solid formulations that contain potent active ingredients in small amounts, or to confer a therapeutic enhancement on the active ingredient in the final dosage form such as facilitating drug absorption, reducing viscosity, or enhancing solubility. Excipients can also be useful in the manufacturing process, to aid in the handling of the active substance concerns such as by facilitating powder flowability or non-stick properties, in addition to aiding in vitro stability such as prevention of denaturation or aggregation over the expected shelf life. The selection of appropriate excipients also depends upon the route of administration and the dosage form, as well as the active ingredient and other factors. Pharmaceutical regulations and standards require that all ingredients in drugs, as well as their chemical decomposition products, be identified and shown to be safe. Often, more excipient is found in a final drug formulation than active ingredient, and practically all marketed drugs contain excipients, one as with new drug substances and dosage forms thereof, novel excipients themselves can be patented, sometimes, however, a particular formulation involving them is kept as a trade secret instead. The Federation of IPEC a pharmaceutical regulatory non-profit, develops, implements, and promotes global use of appropriate quality, safety, and functionality standards for pharmaceutical excipients and excipient delivery systems. IPEC Americas, along with their counterparts in Europe, China, and Japan serves as a primary international resource on excipients for its members, governments, and public audiences. IPEC works in collaboration with Excipient Fest to present topics ranging from regulatory affairs to research and development, often featuring speakers from FDA and other pharmaceutical organizations. Relative versus absolute inactivity Though excipients were at one time assumed to be inactive ingredients, it is now understood that they can sometimes be a key determinant of dosage form performance, in other words, their effects on pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics, although usually negligible, cannot be known to be negligible without empirical confirmation and sometimes are important. For that reason, in basic research and clinical trials they are sometimes included in the control substances in order to minimize confounding, reflecting that otherwise, the absence of the active ingredient would not be the only variable involved, because absence of excipient cannot always be assumed not to be a variable. Such studies are called excipient-controlled or vehicle-controlled studies. Anti-adherence reduce the adhesion between the powder and the punch faces and thus prevent sticking to tablet punches by offering a non-stick surface. They are also used to help protect tablets from sticking. The most commonly used is magnesium stearate. Saccharides and their derivatives, disaccharides, sucrose, lactose, polysaccharides and their derivatives, starches, cellulose or modified cellulose such as microcrystalline cellulose and cellulose ethers such as hydroxypropyl cellulose, sugar alcohols such as xylitol, sorbitol, or mannitol. Binders hold the ingredients in a tablet together. Binders ensure that tablets and granules can be formed with required mechanical strength and give volume to low active dose tablets. Binders are usually Binders are classified according to their application. Tablet coatings protect tablet ingredients from deterioration by moisture in the air and make large or unpleasant tasting tablets easier to swallow. For most coated tablets, 
a cellulose ether hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose film coating is used which is free of sugar and potential allergens. Occasionally, other coating materials are used, for example synthetic polymers, shellac, corn protein zein or other polysaccharides. Capsules are coated with gelatin. Enterics control the rate of drug release and determine where the drug will be released in the digestive tract. Materials used for enteric coatings include fatty acids, waxes, shellac, plastics, and plant fibers. Colors are added to improve the appearance of a formulation. Color consistency is important as it allows easy identification of a medication. Furthermore, colors often improve the aesthetic look and feel of medications, commonly titanium oxide is used as a coloring agent to produce the popular opaque colors along with azo dyes for other colors. By increasing these organoleptic properties a patient is more likely to adhere to their schedule and therapeutic objectives will also have a better outcome for the patient especially children. Solution binders are dissolved in a solvent. Examples include gelatin, cellulose, cellulose derivatives, polyvinyl biralidone, starch, sucrose, and polyethylene glycol. Dry binders are added to the powder blend, either after a wet granulation step, or as part of a direct powder compression formula. Examples include cellulose, methyl cellulose, polyvinyl pyrolidone, and polyethylene glycol. Disintegrants expand and dissolve when wet causing the tablet to break apart in the digestive tract, releasing the active ingredients for absorption. They ensure that when the tablet is in contact with water, it rapidly breaks down into smaller fragments, facilitating dissolution. Cross-linked polymers, cross-linked polyvinyl pyrolidone, cross-linked sodium carboxymetal cellulose, the modified starch sodium starch glycolate. Types Examples of disintegrants include Flavors can be used to mask unpleasant tasting active ingredients and improve the acceptance that the patient will complete a course of medication. Flavorings may be natural or artificial. For example, to improve. Glidants are used to promote powder flow by reducing interparticle friction and cohesion. These are used in combination with lubricants as they have no ability to reduce dye wall friction. Examples include fumed silica, talc, and magnesium carbonate. Lubricants prevent ingredients from clumping together and from sticking to the tablet punches or capsule filling machine. Lubricants also ensure that tablet formation and ejection can occur with low friction between the solid and dye wall. Common minerals like talc or silica, and fats, e.g. vegetable stearin, magnesium stearate, or stearic acid are the most frequently used lubricants in tablets or hard gelatin capsules. Lubricants are agents added in small quantities to tablet and capsule formulations to improve certain processing characteristics. There are three roles identified with lubricants as follows. Anti-adherence Binders there are two major types of lubricants. A bitter product, mint, cherry, or anise may be used. A salty product, peach, apricot, or licorice may be used. A sour product, raspberry or licorice may be used. An excessively sweet product, vanilla may be used. Coatings Colors Disintegrants Flavors Glidants Some typical preservatives used in pharmaceutical formulations are True lubricant roll Sorbents are used for tablet-slash-capsule moisture proofing by limited fluid sorbing in a dry state. 
For example, desiccants absorb water, drying out the surrounding materials. Hydrophilic Sweeteners are added to make the ingredients more palatable, especially in chewable tablets such as antacid or liquids like cough syrup. Sugar can be used to mask unpleasant tastes or smells. Antioxidants like vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin C, retinal palmitate, and selenium, the amino acids cysteine and methionine, citric acid and sodium citrate, synthetic preservatives like the parabens, methylparaben and propylparaben. Lubricants in liquid and gel formulations, the bulk excipient that serves as a medium for conveying the active ingredient is usually called the vehicle. Petrolatum, dimethyl sulfoxide, and mineral oil are common vehicles. Preservatives Sorbents Sweeteners Vehicles